on the above to make a line. Be sure you, you write numbers on the axis. Label the axis, write a title, and use axes to work instead of pennies. Step one. It says we have to make a line plot. Be sure we write as a ugly color. Make sure you write the numbers on the axis, label the axis, give it a title, and use X's. So for that person that's more than said, do we have to use X's? That's the whole point of a line plot, to use X's so that we can tell. Let's see if I can get mine. I can't get it. Alright, so we have to label our axis. Label the axis, write the title and use axis. Somebody raise your hand and give me a title that you gave your graph. Give me one, Javon. Penny collection line plot. Okay, penny collection line plot. I like that. Give me another one, Romare. Um, here's a penny line plot. Here's a penny line plot. Give me one. Jeremy's penny. Jeremy's penny. Give me another one. Penny plot. I'm just going to put all of those together. Years of a homeboy Jeremy. Does yours have to be exactly like that? No. 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 But if this was your title, come on in. Does that make sense? No. no. Why doesn't that make any sense? Because we're not talking about songs. What if I put. <clears throat> Just pennies as my title. Does that make sense? No. Why not? Why doesn't it make sense, Romare? Because they don't know what you're doing. They don't know what you're doing with the pennies. They don't know if you're eating them, baking them in cupcakes. They don't know what you're doing with the pennies. So you want to make sure your title is short, but that the people reading your graph know what you're talking about. So this is the title we'll use for our line plot. I need somebody that can come up and label our axis for us. I need someone that can come up and label the axis for us. Go ahead, Jack. Label the axis for us. Date. She also could put each year, that's fine. Whatever you have, because some of you have year as your title. Oh, it doesn't matter. I saw somebody with year, that works too. So if you had that, you're not wrong. I need a volunteer who can go up and label our lines for us, please, so that we can actually plot our information. Josiah, you can take your paper if you need. I love that I see Liam adding to his paper for some things that he's missing. Missing. Somebody, something's missing. 
solve this missing, Javon? 1942. How you just gonna skip over 1942? If I'm giving everybody pizza and I give Destiny pizza and I give her pizza and I skip over you and I give him pizza, how you gonna feel? So how do you think 1942 feels that you left him out? So let's erase it. Javon, can you come up and make it correct for us, please? Even if you do not have 1942 up here, don't leave him out. That makes him sad. He doesn't want to be left out. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't do it. So if you have, don't have 1942, go ahead and make that correction to your paper. That's how they're going to try to get you. <coughs> Thank you so much, sir. Good job, my. Kodosha, what's my first year that I have? So I'm going to put an X above which year? Come put an X above 1944, please. Above 1944. Thank you. Now can you cross out 1944 because we just did it. Why does Miss Wilson cross out each of her dates or each of her pieces of data as she goes, Liam? So you won't get confused. So you won't get confused. Every time you put one on your chart, cross it off. Pass it to a quiet boy that can come put our next point up for us.
give Tyler a round of applause. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go ahead and answer our questions now that we finish our graph. It looks so nice and pretty. All right, how many pennies were minted in 1943? 1943, so we're focusing on 1943. How many pennies were minted in 1943? How do you know it's three? Three. 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 three? Three what? It's three X's. Three. <clears throat> Above 1943. How many pennies were minted after 1943? So try to trick you on that one. If it's after 1943, what years are we including? If it's after 1943, Kamaya, and anything that came after that, we're including. So we're counting 1944 plus 1945. Josiah, eight. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks good. How many pennies were minted before 1943? I want to know how many pennies were minted before 1943. What years am I including and tell me why? That is a two-part question. What years am I including? Tell me why. Destiny? 1942 and 1944 because it's before. Before what? Before 1943. Such a beautiful answer. So, how many pennies were minted before 1943, Destiny? Just one, one little room. One of his pennies. What is the date on the oldest penny? Uh, somebody asked you who the oldest person in this room was. They will probably say Miss Wilk. So what is the date on the oldest penny? Liam. 1941. The oldest? You are absolutely correct. How do you know that 1941 is the oldest? Because, um, because, uh, it's my easy Because it was the first one made. It was the first one made. What year were you born in? 2006. What year were you born in? 2006. Who knows what year they were born in? What year were you born in, Jackie? Mm -hmm. You were born in 2006, and she was born in 2007. Romare, who's older? How was Jacqueline older? Oh, oh, Who was yeah. born first? <laughs> Josiah. Josiah was born first, so he's older. Okay? I was born in 1988. What? You were born in 2006. Who's older? Yeah. That was not that long ago. Don't do okay. it. Don't do it. Do me. <laughs> anyway, the date of the oldest penny is 1941. See, I'm not even that old. All right, you have 30 seconds to, when I say go, that means don't move yet. When I say go, you're going to make sure your name's on your paper, you're going to put it in the homework bucket, and you're going to go to your math rotation that's going to be up on the board. 30 seconds. Go. Twenty-seven. <coughs> if you're with me, just come have a seat on the carpet. Fifteen. Oh, did I not put current center out? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. His review center, my bad. <laughs> And 
one. All right, you're down with me. All you need today is a brain because we're going to be working on the four. How you doing, Bray? Right? Today we're going to be reviewing fractions, but we're going to take it a step further. I got insurance, but I don't want to use it yet. All right, so we're going to be reviewing fractions, and it's slightly a fourth grade skill. It's slightly a fourth grade skill because we're going to go high to the next level, okay? So we're going to be reviewing parts of a whole. We're going to be reviewing parts of a set that's like a group. So you all will be a set, okay? A set of kids. And parts of a number. Okay? So, we're going to use sets of objects to determine parts of a whole. What's a part of a whole? What word do we use to describe a part of a whole? Fraction. A fraction. So, basically, you know we're going to be talking about fractions today. Okay? And you'll know you got it and you can do it with 100% accuracy. That means every time you do it, you do it correctly. Okay? And you get it like 100% of the time. Can we do that? All right, first we're going to review. What is the most important thing to remember when working with pieces of the whole? Think about a fraction, right? Think about that pizza you want to order. Think about that pizza and then I cut that pizza. It's important that each piece is what? Equal. Equal. So when we're thinking about fractions, we have to make sure that each of our pieces is equal. Because is it fair for you to get a small piece and for him to get a big piece? No. Would it be fair if I gave Jacqueline all of this pizza right here? No. And I gave everybody else these little slices? No. no. Would Jacqueline like that? Yes. yes. Would you like that? No. Because no. it wouldn't be equal. It wouldn't be fair. So we want to make sure that we're always being equal when we're talking about our fractions. So, Jacqueline, go ahead and read this on the floor for me. How many ways can you divide this thing into fractions? Where are those pieces? Okay, how many ways can we divide this group, this pan of brownies? They took a line and divided it this way. Is there another way for us to divide it into two pieces? Draw it for me. What's another way I can draw, I can cut this brownie into two pieces? I can go that way too, right? Yep. And then I have a half down here and a half down there. What are those pieces called when I break them up into two pieces? Each side is called a? A what? Call it yeah, All right. How many ways can you divide this pan into equal groups of four? Divide that pan into equal groups of four. I want to divide this brownie among the four of them. Show me how to do that. How do we know that that's equal? We're going to pretend that it's equal because we know that it's equal. All right, so <laughs> we're going to pretend that that's four equal pieces. How do we know that it's equal? Because everybody gets the same size. The same size. Everybody's piece is the same size. When we break it up into four pieces, what is each of those pieces called? Fractions. One fourth. When it was two pieces, they were called? Halves. When it's four pieces, it's called? Four. Right? Let's see what? That way. Good job. Alright. Poor Luigi, he doesn't know that pieces of a whole must be equal. Can you help him decide which pieces are okay to sell and which he needs to throw away? So we're going to pull out a pizza. And we're going to look at the pizza and we're going to tell can he sell it? Or should he throw it in the trash because it's not equal? Let's look at that first one. Raise your hand if you can tell me. Is it equal? Are all the pieces equal? Or should we throw that in the trash because somebody is going to get slighted? Are they all equal, Javon? No. How do you know? Because on the corner there's a small piece. Right. Because if I give Jacqueline this piece, right, and I give Josiah a piece from the middle, how is Jacqueline going to feel? Sad. Sad. She's gonna give you that face that she's giving you right now. Okay? So I'll be trashing and keeping it. Trash, trash. Okay. Okay, 
there we go. Okay. All right, Jackson. Look at that pizza. Should we keep it or trash it and tell me why? You should keep it because some people before before pieces. Oh, every piece is equal. Every piece is equal. Go ahead and put it in the box. We'll okay. keep that one. And because of me. You can tell it's equal because it goes through the middle. It goes through the middle. Destiny, come pull out of the pizza. All right, let's look at this pizza. All right, Domino's bought us this pizza. Are we happy or not? Why are we happy? Because it's like one piece is big. Right, because what if I give Christian this piece, right? And I turn around and I give Destiny and Jacqueline this piece. Christian's going to be excited, right? Yeah. Why is Christian gonna be excited? Because, because he got a bigger piece. piece. He got a bigger piece than everybody else. Jacqueline's piece looks like it's half of one of Christian's pieces. Is that fair? No. no. So are we keeping it or trashing it? Trash. Trash. Trash it, Destiny. Josiah, can pull out another pizza for us. Alright, let's yeah. see. I gotta stand over here because that glare is killing me. <laughs> Can we keep that pizza? No. Why not? Because it's two small pieces and one small. big old pizza. Right, like half of this pizza is small. huge and half of this pizza is small. This will probably be like, I'll probably make this one. Two thirds of it. Pepperoni or something like that. <laughs> so are we keeping that or are we trashing it? Trash. 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 Go ahead and trash it for me. Next pizza, Jacqueline. Ah. That actually okay. looks really good. Okay. Are we going to keep that or throw it away? Keep it. It's divided into how many pieces? Four. Four. So one piece would be what fraction? One, one fourth. fourth. And two pieces would be two fourths. Two fourths or one, 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 one half. half. One half. One half. Or four eighths. You just gonna eat. Just make us all look bad, huh? <laughs> all right. So we keeping this pizza or not? Keeping it. Why? Because it's equal. It's equal. It's equal. All the pieces are equal. Equal. Are we keeping that? Yes. yes. What fraction is represented by this pizza? Three six. six. No six out of six. What? Six out of six. Which equals what? One, one, one whole. One whole. Okay. okay. Do we want to keep that pizza? Yes. Yes. Let's keep that guy. Because you can get. Now, just understand, I'm not ordering as much pizza, just so y'all know. What? I'm broke. You said. All right. We don't took out like seven pizzas so far. What is that? Uh, I don't think. <laughs> just move around. Oh! oh. <laughs> Are we keeping this pizza? Yes. Yes. Why? Because it's equal. What fraction is represented by this pizza? Four fourths. Four fourths. And it equals one whole. One whole. Uh, I want to do something, but I'll wait. All right, let's go to the next. Now that we've gotten our pieces sliced into equal pieces, we can start sharing them equally. I can give Destiny a piece. And Josiah a piece, and, a and Jacqueline a piece, and I can give Javon a piece. Because we you cut it into equal pieces. The number of pieces in the whole pizza is called the denominator. What is the denominator for this pizza? Two. How do you know it's two? Because it's two pieces. It's cut into? Two pieces. Three holes. Half. And it's one. Let's drag this guy. Mm -hmm. The denominator goes in the bottom. We knew that though, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, this piece is that we are talking about is called the numerator. The numerator tells us how many what we have. How many pieces we have. How many pieces. It tells us the part. We both begin with the piece. pieces part. We already know that this piece is pizza is divided into two equal pieces or two parts. Yeah, the H. Two halves. Two halves. If Mrs. Northup takes one of those pieces, how much of the pizza has she taken? One half. One half. She took one of the halves of the pizza. 
I love this move. It's probably that good. So she took one of the halves of the pizza. I don't know about I can't eat that much pizza. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Somebody has broken into the bakery and eaten a part of every brownie oh pan. Yeah. That's Can you help figure out how much of each pan has been eaten? Uh, this will never be me. I don't like seeds. All right. For the first one, we want to know the number of pieces eaten and the total number of pieces. So for the first one, someone go to the board. Javon, write our denominator for the first pan of brownies. Call one of these three lovely young cherubs to pick the numerator. We want to know how much is eaten, eaten, eaten. So I ate one piece of the brownie. One fourth, one out of four. Pick someone to come up and tell us the denominator for the second pan of brownies. Before Javon broke in and ate our brown. <laughs> We had six total. Josiah came and helped Javon, stole three, and we had three left over. Oh, mm -hmm. dare you. I can't believe you, Josiah. <laughs> All right, I had 16, I cut in 16 pieces. And Jacqueline. Eight nine of them. <laughs> oh, Are we sure Jacqueline ate nine of those brownies? No. Are you sure Jacqueline ate <gasps> nine of them? Yes. No. 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 Did she eat nine or did she leave us nine? Leave us nine. How many did she eat? How many did greedy Jacqueline eat? <laughs> oh, what did you do? Have you ever seen me eat a brownie? Yep. Yes. Oh. That's a shame, Jackson. <laughs> you just don't eat our brownies. I don't like them. You'd be ashamed of yourself. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. I can't believe you. Oh, baby. Alright, so I said our denominator for the fifth pan of brownies it is five. How do we know that our denominator should be five? Because that's the total pieces. That's the total pieces we had before Josiah came and sold to, right? No. <laughs> that's the total number we had. So let's look at the last one. How many pieces, everyone? How many total pieces did we have before y'all came in and stole our brownies? How many eight, more eight, we had? Eight. eight pieces. And then you four came and stole them. How many did you come and steal? Uh, four, eight. How many did you come and steal? Six. 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 One, two, three, four, four five, five, six. six. So I betrayed them. We were Little such thieves. Little thieves. I betrayed them. <laughs> <laughs> <And just, just, laughs> <laughs> All right, what are each 
each of these pieces of pizza called? It's divided into how many pieces? Six pieces. One, two. Oh, I like to put five on it because that helps me know that I already counted it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. six. So it's divided into what? Six, six pieces. Six pieces. Six divided into six. I can never say that word. Six. 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 I, I can't. <laughs> Which pan of brownies is not divided into equal pieces? Which is not divided into equal pieces? I remember seeing a question like this on a test once. Yeah, I remember. Yep. Yep. I remember. That was B. That's so B. sad. B. <laughs> because watch this. <laughs> you can kind of look at it and say, oh, that looks equal. But if I color this one, it's B. And then I color this one. Are they equal? No, it don't look like But if I combine these two, I get what? One, one of those. those, one of the yellow ones. One of who? <laughs> I get one of the yellow ones. If I kind of like imagine that I fold those two in, I would get that one. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's what you want to call it. All right. Fraction can also name parts of a group, like I said. You all would be agree. What fraction of this group right here? Is four, girls? four, four, four. Uh, girls, girls. Girls. Oh, two, oh, two, two, two four. <laughs> For example, what fraction of these flowers are purple? One, 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 one of the. That's a horrible color, right? In. One flower is purple out of how many total flowers? Three. Three. How would we say that fraction? Thank you. Please, thank you for not saying one, one, three. Somebody told me that yesterday. That's one, three. Almost saying it. What fraction of these adorable little creatures is wearing black hats? Tyler, come on and flip down to the Four. Y'all cheated. You saw that over here. Seven. Eight. No, I looked at that. I, was, I counted. Four eights. How many total I'm hamsters do we have? Eight. Eight. They don't look like eight. One, it's eight. two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. We have eight. eight hamsters. I had a hamster, but And how many? Mine too. How many have eight. black hats? Four. four. One. Four. Four. Eight. Two. Three. Four. Four. Sorry, numerator should be. Four. Four. Eight. Four. 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 This is depressing too. Frankie the flamingo eats one third of them. What fraction of the fish does Frankie eat? <laughs> one third. They must have wrote this with y'all. It only says it. How many fish are in all? Three. Three. How many got eaten? Three. Three. Do not come to my birthday party. Talk what? about dead hamsters and dead You never fish. change my birthday party. Oh, hush. My birthday no. party is in the Chewy birthday. has eight bones. Chewy? I guess that's Chewy right there. He wants to get two eighths of them to his girlfriend, Chewina. He will deliver the bones in this lovely paper bag. Can you put two eighths of Chewy's bones Me. in the bag for a thin? So how many bones will Chewy give his boo? Put them in the bag, please. Chewy looks like my dog. Okay, maybe it doesn't look good. My dad, my dad, and my dad. Why can't you see the bag? The other series? He gave her two eighths. He's being more depressive. Yeah. He's <laughs>
How many bones does he have left? Six. Six. What fraction of his bones does he have left? Two, 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 eight. Six. Eight. Six. Six out of his eight left. Oh, Chris, he gave his food. Oh my gosh. All right, there are four frogs. Three fourths of the frogs are playing violin. Can you model the fraction of frogs that are playing the horn? So if three fourths of them are playing the violin, what fraction would be playing the horn? Show us. Show us, please. Did she have? What? Oh, no. All right, three fourths are playing the violin. So that means how many frogs are playing the violin? Three. Uh, three. And how many frogs are playing the horn? One. One. Because we know. Five, six, seven. How many frogs do we have in total? Four. That represent. Yeah, uh, that's represented by what fraction? Four. Four. If we subtract the number of frogs playing violin, about to get jazzy. Three, four minus three is one. What is our denominator? Zero. Four. What's our What's our denominator? Four. Why isn't it zero? Four minus four is zero. Because it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. same. You don't subtract. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, we'll do one more. <laughs> six monkeys. Three six of them are hanging from a tree. Come show us three six of the monkeys hanging from a tree. <laughs> I always do, but I just don't want to get down. <laughs> 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 Alright. Three-sixths of the monkeys are hanging from the tree. What fraction of the monkeys are jumping up and down? Anybody? Three, four. Three-sixths. Three-sixths. Or what? One half. One half. Half of the monkeys are jumping up and down. How many of these animals right here? What fraction of these animals right here are monkeys? Six. 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 Or six. one whole. One whole. Six. Six. We're going to pause right here. I think I got it. I love it. That is so mean. That is so mean. All right. When I say go, you have 30 seconds to clear your desk, grab an iPad so we can get our exit ticket. 29. What is it? 28. Grab it. I'm going to 